Hi, St. Vincent de Paul Panthers. I miss you so much. And I hope that you're being fantastic, terrific, learning and faith-filled all day long. And if it helps, I thought that I would read you a story today. It is called Pajama Day by Robert Munch. Andrew's old pajamas were full of holes, so his father took him to get new ones. They went to a store and Andrew said, yuck, these pajamas do not feel right. They went to another store and Andrew said, yuck, these pajamas do not smell right. They went to another store and Andrew said, yuck, these pajamas do not taste right. I'll wear my old ones. His father took him to one more store. Way in the back was a rack that said, perfect pajamas. Andrew looked at the pajamas and said, all right, they look okay. He smelled the pajamas and said, all right, they smell okay. He tasted the pajamas and said, all right, they taste okay. So his father bought the pajamas. The next day at, was pajama day at school. Andrew put one foot into his new pajamas and yawned once. He put the other foot in and yawned twice. He put one arm in and his eyes closed. He put the other arm in and fell fast asleep. This was very strange because it was only nine o'clock. Andrew's teacher put him in the back of the room and said, he'll wake up in a bit. Andrew slept until recess and his teacher started to get worried. He slept until lunch and the principal started to get worried. He slept all afternoon and even the kids started to get worried. At the end of the day, the teacher called for a doctor. The doctor bonked Andrew on the knee, looked in his ears and looked in his eyes. She said that he was fine, but Andrew was still asleep. Then Andrew's big sister came to walk him home from school. She said, I'm going to call mom. Andrew's mother took one look and said, I see what's wrong. He's wearing perfect pajamas. She took Andrew's arm out of the pajamas and he yawned. She took the, his other arm out of the pajamas and he opened one eye just for a second. She took one foot out and he opened both his eyes. She took out the other foot and Andrew jumped up and said, is it recess yet? The principal came in and said, what's going on here? Look, said Andrew's mother, it was perfect pajamas that made Andrew sleep. These are perfect pajamas. That's crazy, said the principal. I say there is no such thing as perfect pajamas and I am a principal, so I know everything, twice. But just to be sure, the principal decided to try them out. The principal looked at the pajamas and, he looked, and they looked okay. He smelled the pajamas and they smelled okay. He tasted the pajamas and they tasted okay. He put one foot in the pajamas and he yawned. He put the other foot in the pajamas and he yawned again. He put his arms in the pajamas and he fell fast asleep. Andrew's mother carried the principal back to his office and then she took Andrew home. Then Andrew's mom made him some real perfect pajamas. They kept Andrew as warm as toast and even on very cold nights. And they were really perfect because they only made Andrew go to sleep when he wanted to go to sleep. And the principal, he is still sleeping. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. It is now, since I've done this at nighttime, my turn to go put on my perfect pajamas and go to sleep. I hope you're all being more awesome and I will see you all soon.